Hello everybody, it's everybody Weaves here. I am back with a new reaction. Uh, we just reacted to Daddy Fat Snaps, uh, usually rab an eye for an eye. Now we're going to Mr. Daniel Theodore Rustich, uh, featuring Ben Schuller, uh, yeah, it's Rustich reaction, featuring Ben Schuller from Nerd Out. Uh, King Arthur rap, the king. So, I love the fact that Rustich now has the free capability to kind of go on things you wouldn't think people would rap about. And honestly, he just... I'm expecting a lot of intricate medieval slash old English bars. Possibly a Night of the Round bar, too. Sword of Stone, uh, I, I don't know if this is, replies, well actually yeah it does apply to Arthur, because he had to pull out a Sword of Stone, and if you also think of the movie of the Sword of Stone from Disney, yeah, uh, basically that sword was basically, a uh, like, knight's time of, like, knight's equivalent to Mjolnir, because they could not pull it out of the rock, but Arthur did. I saw a mention nice, but I don't know if it was. I think he did say round, but again, nice and round because the nice and round, uh, not well. I thought of not when you think of, when I thought of nights around first, it made me think Koki has, but nights of the round, basically the round table. That's supposed to be the represent the chainmail, uh, like uh, fat uh, armor of uh, a part of the armor. Person or his horse, uh, or was it? A, I think it was an area. Uh, and he also mentioned Merlin. Uh, when we think of medieval times, we and when we think of uh, medieval and like King Arthur time, Merlin is usually portrayed as a wizard, uh, in that uh, fashion. I think Lady of the Lake. I don't. I think was that, he's referencing a siren. Also, Excalibur is the name of the sword. And if you want to use fate, like fate, say night, uh, saber, because uh, uh, fun fact brings saber up. Saber is the spirit of King Arthur uh, in the fate universe. No, Excalibur. 
Her. Word, way that I pound like a sterling. Lance a lot, but they stop when they serve and man stay hot when I drop like a merlin. I got enough for the burning. Blazing the lake with a lady be lurking. Paving my way through the traitors and vermin. Say what I say, cause I make what I'm earning. Scalibur, I'll keep it drawn like a curtain. Even I'll back it, but not head. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Tis but a scratch. I think he's a British penny. Uh, head on British penny. Cause I'm guessing uh, in the UK, I guess uh, that person was on the British penny. Uh, on, I guess as the head on um, front um, on the coin. So. Yeah. Man of cutters or anything, sharing my power with gentry. Cause I got dream like Cromwell, I cut them to bits and pieces, even after they're buried. Rod divine, add to my life like it's Monty Python. Conquer through France and the Scottish Highlands, cause I'm rich in my blood, I forgot the lion. Served by the night shows are non compliant. Loud as the weak, but the strongest silence. I'm not a god or a tyrant, I'm just a man with a hat that I want in the finest. Ooh. Well, I, I think he, uh, when he mentioned uh, the lion, cause I think uh, the night symbol, um, I think the night symbol um, was like sub, uh, or like the symbol that uh, his night attire had was like, like a lion. It's even after they're buried, raw divine, yeah. add to my life like it's Monty Python, conquer through France and the Scottish Highlands cause I'm rich in my blood and forgot the lion, served by the night shows are non-compliant, loud as the weak but the strongest silence, yeah. I'm not a god or a tyrant, I'm just a man with a hat that I want in the finest. <laughs> Like, that's true, like, poems, poems and minstrels, because, like, you often hear the tales of King Arthur, often see different portrayals of King Arthur, and, like, he's become a staple of just uh, medieval fantasy talk and uh, folklore in general. And I guess he had, ver and I guess he's mentioned, like, his way of living kind of became a staple for those after him. How more a symbol, more a story for my people told through poetry and minstrels. The web of times, a thread of lies or caught up in the spindle. But virtues we embrace ensures our lights will never dwindle. Cause I stand atop a kingdom built on blood and bones and fallen foes. Kings and dukes, the peasant youth, we pledge our lies and swore an oath. A heavy hand must nice press old. the wounds and hold it close to call us home until our words will wash away until we let the water flow. I thought we'd hear some bars about Guinevere. What do you bring to the table? You come at the king. Oh, you best not miss on the one day I wish they were. You come at the king. I had a feeling. I, I think I said this in the, the Daddy Bass. So I, I knew I was not going to catch every bar. I just, I'm using my, whatever I know of D&D and myth, uh, medieval times and what I've seen in King Arthur and like media in general. But I got the Monty Python thing because it's like, you think of my, Monty Python in the Holy Grail movie is it acted out in my life like Monty Python. 
for, for some, why did the name Sir Gilead just pop in my head? I don't... Uh, see? <laughs> it is what it is, but I enjoyed this, and I'm glad I got to react to it. If you guys like my reaction, please subscribe and share. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.